I've always, we've as a family, like I traveled a huge amount when we were little. There was never sort of like package holidays in Tenerife. It was always sort of like trekking through the Thai rainforest or odd things like that. So it's always been like, I've always had a taste for it. It's always in my blood. When I started DJing, I did the, you know, Berlin's and Ibiza's and the sort of standard touring spots. And then with Selector, it's just really part and parcel of, of what we do. So the selector is kind of like my baby, really. I, I've worked very hard on it for five years now. It's a globally syndicated new music radio show. When I started presenting it, we were broadcast in six countries and now we're in 43. Everywhere from like Malawi to Mauritius, South Africa, Israel and Palestine, exactly the same show. Thailand, Vietnam, Australia. Mexico, Eastern Europe and, and Russia and Kazakhstan moving into Central Asia, they definitely like like hard house and techno and big kind of like strong beats. When you go out and DJ that, you can really see that like playing crazy ex-Soviet blunkers at like six in the morning and just green strobes and it's all very, very intense. <laughs> in Cuba, um, I was the first female DJ from overseas to ever play there. That obviously is a, a, a sort of quite a weight of responsibility um, to be showcasing it for, for the ladies. I mean, with my DJing, I'm quite, I'm quite theatrical. I did a theatre degree at Goldsmiths. Um, I really believe in, in being an entertainer and, and putting on a show. It's quite sort of extravagant visuals and I jump around and thrash about, make an exhibitionist of myself and climb up things and go crowd surfing. And I think that in itself is quite um, maybe tantalizing for some people. And then the fact that it's girl doing it as well, it's just, it's just new, they've never seen that before. I've been DJing for about eight years now. And I think certainly when I started, um, it was a lot harder for female DJs, whereas I think now it's a lot more accepted. There's definitely a lot more of us. I mean, certainly I've experienced so much sexism uh, within the industry at every stage of my career. But is that because of what I do or is that just the nature of being a woman working in this day and age? Um, will it be different for my daughter? I really hope so. The, the key thing for me always has been and always will be just do a bloody good job. 